Buying a home in the Vail Valley can be a challenging process, and our friend Dee Dee Dickinson from Engel and Volker's Realty is here this morning to educate us on the process and some of the best practices involved with finding the right broker or, um, or buyer agency, right? Good morning, Dee. How are you? Great to see you, as always. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks. So you're our, our real estate educator around here lately, and you're going to be diving in and giving us some tips on the process this morning, right? I am. Okay, so where should we start? Well, you know, um, buying real estate or selling real estate in every state is different. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that most people don't understand is they want to be represented. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean, right? Sure. So. We talked about this before, but you know, most people like they'll see an open house advertised and mm -hmm. they'll go, Oh, let's go check that out, right? Yeah. And then they might get serious about what it is that they're looking at. Sure. And wouldn't you think you'd want to talk to the person who's hosting the open house? So you'd think. I mean, they're, they're there, ready to provide you with all kinds of information and, and potentially sell you the place, right? That's correct. <laughs> but I think it's really important that you understand the working relationships in Colorado. Yeah. And with that, we have, this is an agency state, meaning that we have available to buyers or sellers mm -hmm. true representation of their best interests. Mm -hmm. And if you're in a transaction, you don't want someone not representing your best interest. You don't want to be working with someone who might be um, representing the seller, sure. correct, which is what you would find at an open house. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to get all the little bits and pieces that go into a transaction that might not be readily available to you and have an agent work on your behalf in digging through background on the property, sure. on the HOA, if it's in an HOA, on the neighborhood, things that might affect the future value of that property um, so that you can make the best possible decision. Perfect. So we're looking for someone with our best interests in mind, and that person is? Either a buyer's agent mm -hmm. or a seller's agent, Perfect. not a transaction broker. There you go. So that's the other available relationship to you in Colorado when you do business, yeah. but they're just representing the transaction as it, as it states. I they're see. not your fiduciary. Okay, so that's that's really important to know because you could get led into a situation where it's really not uh, not in your best interest. And, and if you go down this path and have a buyer agent, agent um, you'll be well informed and take the necessary steps to get the best deal, hopefully. That's right. On your home. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. So give us a little scope of, of the real estate market in Vail right now. What are we looking at as far as is a buyer's market, a seller's market? It's really more a seller's market. We mm -hmm. are very, very limited inventory. Mm -hmm. So if a property comes on the market and it's well priced, mm -hmm. that it has supportable comps, mm -hmm. then it's going to sell fairly quickly and sure. it's going to sell at a premium price. So with a low inventory, if you find a property that you're really interested in, it sounds like buyers need to make some moves quickly because low inventory, things are turning over maybe a little more quickly as well. Correct. Um, yeah. And if you're considering a loan, then you need to do your homework early on and I can certainly help people guide them to different lenders mm -hmm. that would be well suited to their individual circumstances but have all your ducks in a row because the lending arena is not as easy as it used to be sure. and they're very very particular about the information that they get from the buyer um, and so it's crucial that you have all your ducks in a row before you even get start looking at property. Wow. Dee Dee, thank you so much for uh, for sharing some information with us and educating us this morning. Thanks. That's great. You can learn more about uh, Dee Dee Dickinson's um, services and ability to help you out at ddickinson.evusa.com. We've got more in store for you. We're going to be talking with the Vail Symposium later on in the show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you shortly.